the U.S. Open is an examination of the players. It's the tough test. You're going to ask them every question of their game, driver, long iron, short iron, putting, chipping, and that same thing holds true for our maintenance team. It's an examination. It's testing us to our highest level. Um, of attention to detail and performance. Three assistant superintendents that haven't been here for a championship before, just giving them confidence that they've got the skill set to get us through this. Knowing that, look, this is going to be tough, it's going to be a long grind, but we'll get through it. Um, they do a great job every day. There's no reason they won't do a great job in June. Um, our two AITs are eager to get after it and learn. Our spray tech, everybody's bought in. You prepare them by saying, this is going to happen. We're going to get thrown a curveball and we'll be ready. We'll have a plan, we'll work through it, whether it's a weather event during the championship and a, you know, something will happen, but you're just confident in them that they'll get it done and we'll get it done. If you treat every day like it's the U.S. Open, when it actually comes, it becomes a little bit less stressful for the team. We do have to focus more. We do have to be more attention to detail. We have more people. We have 120 people going out on the course versus 20. So our leaders have to be you know, looking at 60 people on each side as opposed to 10, making sure 50 mowers instead of 15 are working at their best. So all that is just, as you can treat each day leading up to it a little more intense, once it gets here, it's more manageable. So the main core of our team will be our course two team. We'll have 40 people that are on course two's payroll, three assistants, two AITs, spray tech, foreman, and then our crew members. Here at Pinehurst, there's five golf courses on the main property. So course one and four will close May 21st. And so we'll start pulling crew members from there after they finish their airification. So we'll have about two weeks leading up with those crews to get them accustomed to number two a little more. We'll have that. We'll have other courses send in help during championship week. So we'll have about 80 Pinehurst Golf Course Maintenance employees working each day. And then we'll supplement that with about 50 volunteers, whether it be outside volunteers, alumni, if you will. Our challenge is housing, but we have people that worked here in the past that still have somebody they can crash with. So to reunite a lot of the former assistants and interns that have been here, that again is what makes it so interesting and special to work with all those people again. And uh, kind of like getting the band back together and, and putting on a show. I remember in 2014 we were really close to the U.S. Opens and BASF reached out and said, hey, we got a new product we want you to try. And we're sitting there like, man, we're really close to the U.S. Open. Do we want to, to do this? But it certainly helped us get through two stressful weeks with bent grass in June. Um, so from that point forward, whether it was Lexicon and then Max Team and Avicon, and uh, we had always used Insignia and Honor before that. Um, those products were staples of our program. And so using those still, we were familiar with the holiday program on bent grass. Well then in 2014, we convert to Bermuda. And we joked that, you know, the holiday program is no longer good for Bermuda. And like, no, yeah, it is, there's just different holidays. So instead of Memorial Day, 4th of July and Labor Day, now it's more Labor Day, Halloween, and Valentine's Day is when we stick to some of those products. And we just changed holidays, and uh, the products still deliver the results we're looking for. Some of the relationships we built with the area, whether it was Brian Thompson, then Gary Myers, and then Mark Sim, and now Scott Waltz, people we deal with, and, and being able to reach out to them and get support, and having those resources, whether it was Willie Pennington when he was here before he retired. Um, that's the big thing. I got to go up to their research facility at RTP and see how all the work that goes into developing products um, and to meet some of their team members that stay in the lab more often but come out here and see their products in action. So all those things make the relationship so special. How number two sits in the land, it fits in the pine trees and the sandy wiregrass areas like it's always been there. Um, I imagine, you know, when Donald Ross set foot on the property in 1907 to build Course 2, hopefully he would come back and think that it's pretty similar. There's more trees now, there's more uh, maintained Bermuda grass, and, and the level of maintenance on greens 
So to, to see the changes and, and to hear him would be kind of encouraging or to know what he would think of how we're doing. But I, I just, you know, pinch yourself when you ride around every day and knowing that this is our office that we get to share with golfers and in June, the best golfers in the world and people watching at home. Course two is pretty cut and dry. It's tees, fairways, greens, bunkers. There's not step cut or rough or graduated rough. It's, you know, you're in a good lie or you're not such a good lie. So I like that part of it. I think the sandy wiregrass areas stick out. They may look to some superintendents we'll understand, but golfers think they're low maintenance or no maintenance, but there's a lot of work that goes into making those areas look natural. Um, we've got 35 acres of it, and uh, while we're not mowing rough during the U.S. Open, um, there's a lot of work leading up in those areas that, uh, that require a lot of attention. So that's something that, you know, some golfers or, or casual fans may say they look weedy or unkempt, but that's not the case. They're very, uh, very meticulously prepared for the championship. I've reiterated to our team that <clears throat> it's not just you. It's your family, it's your support system that got you to this point. Um, one of our assistants said, I'm gonna send my wife and kids to the beach for that week. I was like, you better not. Keep them here, enjoy it with them, have them out here um, because you'll want to hug somebody other than me when it's all said and done. So grab your kids. You've spent a lot of time away from them the last few weeks and months. Sharing those moments with them, uh, having your kids here, they may not value being inside the ropes for a few minutes during the US Open, but I do and it's something that I'll remember. I mean, the main thing is just our team, all the people that come in here every day early and stay late. And, you know, go into the crew and say, hey, we need a couple guys to stay late. It's, you're having to tell people, no, I don't need you today, I'll use you tomorrow. They just all want to be here and help. They all want to be a part of it and do it, so. Certainly couldn't be here. It's not a one-man show by any means. Everybody knows that, but um, I just like sit back and watching them do their best, and they do it every day.